Well, I'm with Sergeant Scott Lil Chris here up at uh, Police HQ, and uh, behind us is this big uh, poster which we're talking about today about weapons surrender. So another amnesty coming up, Scott. Yeah. Yep, that's correct. Um, it's running in line with a national um, one that's coming up on the 20th of July till the 4th of August. Um, we generally run them every few years, so we've had one in 2014, then 2017, and obviously we're yeah. running one now. I remember one of the previous ones, maybe one of the first ones, had a spectacular amount handed in that stage. Yeah, we do. Um, we have had quite a few mm -hmm. um, weapons, firearms, all sorts of stuff handed in. Now, how's it work? Because, I mean, people maybe have been passed things down over generations or they've got an outhouse where something's just been left. Should they feel OK just walking in? Do they have to give you know, ex explanations or how's it work? Yeah, um, we've had them found in lofts. Grand, granddad's sock drawer and things yes. like that um, so all we want is we want people to hand them in we want them off the streets yeah. so um, if you know how to make them safe um, then bring them in obviously you need to transport them in a safe manner um, but if you're not sure on how they work and how to make them safe then give us a ring and we can always come out um, make sure it's safe and collect them and bring them in obviously that's more to do with firearms things like that sure. knives and yeah. things I mean, you've got a crossbow there for instance yeah um, we have crossbows um, there's mace spray there's machetes um, there's all sorts of yeah. stuff that is out there uh, and the message is we want people to bring them into us so that we can dispose of them and it's safe then one of the biggest things I suppose that could be a worry is replicas because what could be a toy to somebody can look very seriously like it's the real deal exactly um, and we don't want them in the wrong hands because they can cause fear um, just like a normal firearm can so for instance we've got the AK there um, that looks real we've got the Glock there one's an imitation one's a real one you cannot tell the no. difference and I'm sure you'll probably agree yeah. it's very difficult with it being sat in front of you we've got the uh, other handguns there as well one's real and one's an imitation so the message is not just real ones we want imitation ones in BB guns and things like that in as well and as you say anything can do harm be it a knife be it a spray or, or anything like that yeah. so how's it going to work do they just walk in reception or do they ring up in advance to talk to you or what no so we will have um Weapons bins, if you like, around all the stations oh. within the Isle of Man. So you've got Douglas headquarters, mm -hmm. Ramsey, Peel and Castletown. Walk in, um, there'll be a bin there and you can just drop it in that bin. You don't even have to give us your details. You can remain anonymous and then you can leave. And as I said before, though, if bring them to the police station in a sensible manner. <laughs> don't be walking down the street with... A crossbow or I never thought about that, but you're right. and things yeah, yeah, like yeah. that because obviously that's going to cause alarm and then obviously yeah. things can escalate. So bring them in, in in an appropriate manner. But yeah, you can just drop them in. And maybe this is the time for someone to go up and check the attic and see what's up there. <laughs> yes, uh, definitely check your granddad's sock drawer and uh, things like that because they are found in all sorts of places within the home. You might be moving into a house mm -hmm. and you go up in the loft and there's ones that are sat there that have been there for years and years and years. You're not in any trouble. Just, just hand them in.